Hello and welcome to part 3 of Ford Transit engine rebuild where in this video I will be closing the engine, lubricate both the camshafts and valves. The recommended oil for P22DTE engine is 5W30 if you use thicker oil such as 10W40. The oil will become less viscose and would not lubricate the engine components appropriately, therefore it will increase friction and wear. It's time to place the rocker ladder. When installing the rocker ladder, make sure the sign of X is set at exhaust cam shaft and in the inner cam shaft, and also making sure that the rocker arm fits smoothly with the valve springs to enable the valves to fully function. Now using 10, 10 mm bolts, lock the rocker ladder in place. First tighten them with hand to secure the rocker onto the valve springs and then tighten using a gun set at low speed or a ratchet to prevent them from cracking as both the rocker arm and camshaft cage are aluminium and they crack more easily. Start to tighten the rocker arm from the middle and progress your way to the sides to fully lock the rocker arm to the valve spring once you have tightened the middle bolts. Check if the rocker arms are still intact with the valve springs. The rocker arm's role is to control the entire valve train, ensuring that the proper amount of spring pressure is applied consistently to open and close the valve for proper engine combustion. Now it's time to install the rocker cover. First tighten the bolts by hand and then using a ratchet as you are marrying plastic rocker cover to aluminium camshaft cage and if you over tighten the bolts, you will end up breaking one or the other. You would also need to place a new rocker cover gasket when installing the rocker cover. This is to prevent oil from leaking between the camshaft cage and rocker cover. Maintenance is key to a reliable engine. Maintenance include replacing oil and oil filter and checking engine coolant system every 5,000 miles. Replacing air filter and fuel filter, inspecting fuel lines for any deterioration every 10 to 15,000 miles. Many parts are stated to be universal, but although they may work, they may not offer the same efficiency or longevity that specific Ford parts may say using genuine product are advised. The timing chain kit should be replaced every 70 to 80,000 miles. I have also made a fitting timing chain kit video, which I will be either putting it in the description or suggestion section. Thank you for watching. If you did like the video, please make sure to comment, like and subscribe.